everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is for Valentine's Day and I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. So this is the look I've created. It's kind of a new pink lip with like a pink eyeshadow look. It's really pretty and I hope you guys like it and maybe you can even do it for Valentine's Day. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what you're doing for Valentine's Day and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But if you wanna see how I created this look, then let's get on with the video. So if you didn't already realize, yes, my hair is now a different color. I actually got it done today. It was meant to be like a ombre, like a blonde, but it went like a different color because apparently that's what happened first. So if you're wondering, it looks a little bit ginger. That's probably why, but it's gonna go like how it should be soon. So that's why my hair looks like this. But I just wanted to show you some of the makeup I'm using in the video. I did like a little uh, Valentine's decoration. Um, so I'm gonna use these. I never usually wear false eyelashes, but since it's Valentine's Day, I thought it would be a bit more glamorous. And then, as you can see, I'm using quite a lot of different pinks. This is really old, but it's like a really good blusher and they no longer sell it. And then I'm using this Too Faced palette. I'm using this eyeshadow palette. I have some Kylie Jenner, Huda Beauty. So it's all very exciting. But now I'm gonna get on with the makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna moisturize my face. So I'm just using this one from Olay and I'm just gonna use this brush. And I use the same mirror in all of my videos so you should know this by now. I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand. I've seen makeup artists do this so I thought I'd use some tips. And then I'm just gonna um, do this. It does help though, because it makes your skin moisturize before you put on the makeup. That is the scratch on my chin that I told you guys about like last week, still there. And it still hurts. There's a bit that fell on my leg, so I'm gonna take that bit and then put it on the rest of my face. Actually, I'm doing an eyeshadow look today, so I'm put it on my eyes as well. And that is it for the moisturizer. And now I'm just gonna do some primer. So I'm using the Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer, the same one I used in a lot of my other videos. But yeah, I'm just rubbing that into my skin. Okay, so now I can move on to the actual makeup. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow and I'm just using it from this palette, but it's a secret at the moment because I'm gonna show you this palette later when I use it for my eyes um, because it looks really nice. I'm just gonna do what I usually do. They're gonna be a little bit lighter because my hair is lighter now. So I think that's like a decent color there. I'm just gonna finish it off by going down. No, I think it could be a little bit darker. But at the moment, I'm just going to do it. And then that is my new eyebrows, guys, everyone, because I have lighter hair. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eyebrow, and I'll come back to you in a minute. Now that I've done with my eyebrows, I'm gonna carve them with some concealer because they're a little bit like dusty, if you get what I mean. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer that I use a lot, it's really good. And then I'm just gonna use this flat eyeshadow brush to like, you know, you get what I mean. So I'm just gonna take that and put it on my hand. So for today's look, it's gonna be not like a super, like red lip look because it's Valentine's Day because um, I don't really like wearing bright red lipstick but it's kind of like a nude pink look so it's kind of Valentine's and I thought you guys would like to see it so maybe you can follow it and if you're going out for Valentine's Day you could wear it or something I'm just going to take the concealer I'm going to put it underneath my eyebrows
So now that I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to do my foundation now. And for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty in the shade 210. And I'm literally just going to put like one drip of it down this side of my face. It's been like running out. Like, I don't know what the problem is, but it just doesn't work. I think that worked. Um, a little bit on my forehead, on my nose and on my... Chin. First of all, I'm gonna blend it in with the brush. Oh look, there's a heart on the brush. Happy Valentine's Day. Then I'm going to blend it in with Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna do it with the brush first. Okay, so now I'm done with foundation, I'm going to move on to concealer and contour. So I'm using the same concealer that I did earlier for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to put it under my eyes. I'm going to do it this side as well. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit on my forehead. A tiny bit on my chin with my eyes. And then I'm gonna do my contour. So I'm using the Rihanna Fenty Beauty, and this is in the shade Mocha. Here. A little bit. And I'm gonna put it there a little bit. And then a little bit on my forehead. A little bit here, just to give more definition. A little bit under here. And a little bit on my neck because when you blend it in, then it makes your neck actually look the same color as your face, which is always great. So I'm first gonna blend in the bottom bit and then like bring it down my neck because then it makes your neck look brown as well as your face just looking brown because that does not look good. So I'm gonna do that bit. And then I'm gonna do it in this side. motion So I've just done blending and everything and now I'm going to use my Kat Von D translucent setting powder. So you might be a little bit surprised since it's quite an old palette but for eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because it is one of the best palettes I've ever bought ever and it's really good for Valentine's Day because it has some nice pinks in it. So I'm gonna be doing some pink eyeshadow today. So first of all, as like a base, I'm gonna take this one and it's in the shade Georgia and it's like a light pink color. So I'm just gonna take this on like a big blending brush and put it all over my, I'm not sure whether to put it in the crease yeah i'm gonna put it in the crease so i'm just taking georgia and i'm just rubbing it side to side in the crease As you can see, it's like a really, really light pink. You can barely see it, but I just did it as like a base. And now I'm gonna be using the color Candied Peach and Some Yum. So that one is like more of like a burgundy brown shade, but it's also got a pink undertone, so I can use it. And this has glitter in it, so it's really pretty. I'm gonna just 
take some of that on top. Okay, I finally finished the blending. It took me quite a long time. But now I'm gonna do the lid. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my concealer. And I'm gonna take these two colors. So this one is called Bellini. And it's like a shimmery pink color that is good for the lid. And then the other one is called Luscious. And it's more of a golden color. You could use a bit of cobbler as well. They'll all add to the look. And I'm just gonna put it on. It also helps if, once you're done with it, you do it with your fingers, because it gives more pigment. So now I'm going to be putting on my false eyelashes. I'm just using the Ardell Wispies. The ones I'm using, they look like this. So I'm really bad at putting on eyelashes. I find it so hard. So it's probably going to take a long time. They also come with a glue here. And this is really fun. So it has like a little silver seal on it. And you pierce it. Listen. There's the glue. So... What you do is, I don't know if they're too long, because what happens to me is I put it on and it's like too long for my eyelash, so I always cut it a little bit in the middle, not on the end, in the middle, because in the middle it hurts. So I'm going to go get some tiny scissors and then I just use these tweezers to hold them. I actually did have an eyelash applicator, like a proper one, but I lost it, so I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go get the scissors and I'll be back in a second. I just cut like this much off. I'm just gonna hold the eyelash with the tweezers. Like Can you get the glue? Ah, oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this, oh my god. Okay, so. Okay, so I think this eyelash is ready now. Um, just got on a tweezer. My eyes are very watery right now, but I'm gonna put on the next eyelash. So I just put my eyelashes on. I'm really proud of myself because I can never usually do it, but those are very good ones. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, and then I'm gonna move on to my face makeup. So now I'm just putting some mascara on my bottom lashes.
So now we'll be doing my bronzer. So I'm using the Christmas in New York palette by Too Faced and it's called the Chocolate Shop and I'm using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer that comes in it with this Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to put it So I don't usually wear blush, but since it's Valentine's, I'm going to wear it. And I'm using the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush by Too Faced. This actually came out ages ago. I think I got it when I was like 12. But it's really good. And I actually don't sell it anymore. So, you know. Um, and I'm just using this brush here. And I literally just take all of it. Give it a little tap. And then just do this. Just gives a really nice pink look. Okay, that is much better. But yeah, that's it for blush. And then for highlighter, I need something interesting. For highlighter, I'm using the Kylie Jenner highlighter. And I also got this quite a long time ago, but it's really good. And I just felt like it would be good for Valentine's Day. I don't know why. Um, but it is in the shade French Vanilla. And I can open it. It's like a yellowy undertone. That's what it looks like. So for the brush, I'm just going to use one. This is by Morphe. And it is the R36. I'm just going to take it. This is really, really good highlighter. It's really pigmented. So as you can see, you don't need that much. And it really shows up like that is so good. So, as you can see, the highlighter, oh my god, look at, look at that, just look at that. That is so pretty, oh my goodness, I need to start using this highlighter more. Shout out to Kylie Cosmetics, love that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the lid of my eye. So the last part of my makeup is the lipstick and this is like one of the main parts because Valentine's Day you can either do like red or like pink. I chose to do pink and it's not like pink but it's like a nude pink and it's the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick and this is just one of the pink shades so I'm just going to use this. It looks kind of brown but when you put it on it's more pink so it's suitable for Valentine's Day. Okay, so now the makeup is done, I'm just going to use some setting spray quickly. I'm just going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray.
So that is it for my Valentine's makeup look. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. This is like probably the best I've done my makeup in a long time. So I hope you guys like it. And if you want to maybe do it for Valentine's Day, you can do that. Comment down below what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. I love to know. I find it really interesting. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like I say in all of my videos, you should definitely hit the notification bell because then you'll get notified every time I upload a video. So you'll never miss one of my videos but thanks for watching happy valentine's day